we're on the doorstep of a revolution in my field, one that we haven't seen in generations. This is a, this is a unique window of time where we have several years to make a huge impact on, on the field of cancer for decades to come. It's, it's amazing to me that uh, here in, a, in Portland, we are punching way above our weight. Uh, we've been humble about the work that we're doing here. I think that's in line with our, our mission. We may, we may need to, to, to be more uh, vocal about what we're doing here because of all the people that we could potentially help. There's a real sense of urgency at the FDA to uh, get approval of this entirely new class of cancer treatments. Uh, and we're participating uh, very closely working with the FDA and with the pharmaceuticals industry which is producing all of these agents. You can think of a drug company uh, wanting to launch a clinical trial of some breakthrough agent being selective about where they test that agent and wanting uh, specific expertise so that, that when they apply for FDA approval uh, they can stand behind the data and results they're presenting. And so they in the pharmaceutics industry has voted with their feet in singling, singling us out in some elite networks of maybe five centers nationally where they feel confident doing this kind of research. The most surprising Thing that I see again and again is that when people uh, are seeing me and participating in clinical trials they have a sense that although they've been dealt a bad hand and have to go through a very difficult experience um, what they're going through will make a contribution that's bigger than themselves it will make a contribution to science and it will help other patients in the future and the sense of purpose that comes from that is incredibly uh, provides an inner strength that I'm always astonished by and I see it week after week after week.